Welcome to the weekend. Here we are on Friday and we are continuing our look back at the Palm Sunday Choir Productions of the Past. Today, to finish out the week, we have a song from 2018. This one is going to get your hands clapping and your feet tapping. It's called Old Church Choir. His name. When you look at Palm Sunday, you're kind of struck with these ideas that Jesus is the grand marshal of a parade that he orchestrated. Because he knew what was about to happen. He knew that he was riding into Jerusalem for Passover for the last time. And this time, unlike any of the other Passovers, he would be the lamb that would be slain for all of our sins. His name given to him, which simply means that God saves. His name would literally be lived out that Friday in the darkness of Saturday and Sunday when he would gloriously rise. His name, it was him that people pointed to. It's Jesus who is coming by. It was all about him. In fact, one of the odd things about this parade is at the end of it. If you went to Jerusalem today, just outside the walls, of the Eastern Gate, there would be a church about halfway up the hills. It, it's called the Church of Tears. And it symbolizes the fact that when Jesus finally had crossed the top of the Mount of Olives and was making his way down in Jerusalem, that he stops and he begins to cry. And I'm sure there were people in the parade that said, why, why are you crying? This, this is a great parade. There's people that are waving the palm branches. It's great. And he cried because he looked at the city and he said, Oh, Jerusalem, if you only knew what would bring you peace. If you only knew what would bring you peace. It was him. He's the one. It's his name. And the neat thing is, you know his name, Jesus. You know that, but also the fact that he knows your name because he's in love with each of us is an amazing thing that I pray wells with up within us this praise and glory to God. Let's pray. Lord, it is in your name that we pray. How many times have we ended a prayer in the name of Jesus? Amen. In your name, amen. It is your name people that lined those that road that day looked and said, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. What's this parade about? Well, it's about Jesus. It's your name. The name above all names that one day we will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And we do that now, Lord, willingly. And we thank you for all that you have done. And that in your name we can take refuge. In your name we can have hope. In your name we can have peace. In your name we can understand the depths of true love, of sacrificial love. And so today, right here in this church with people that are celebrating Palm Sunday all over the world, we say thank you and that we love you and we praise you for all that you have done for us for you have lived up to your name god saves thank you so much we rest in your name and with all the things that are on our hearts even this morning perhaps of other needs of loved ones and family and friends we lift those to you in your powerful name and we give them to you and we thank you for touching us and hearing us and knowing our name. In Jesus' incredible name, powerful name, we say amen. Amen. Well, some of you have been to Palm Sunday services for a number of years. Leanne said that she was just about five or six years old when she made that decision to serve Jesus. That was about 20 years ago. Yeah, might have been just a little bit longer, but 
But some of you have been to Palm Sunday a long time. Some of you have been to numerous Easter services over the years, and you're excited about what's going to happen this next weekend. You, but you know the message. You know the story. But something about it, when you hear about it, when you've accepted Christ and you hear that story again, something begins to well up with inside of you, and you're just like, man, it's awesome what Jesus has done for me. And the fact that God is there. You know, what it makes me think about is some of these old choir songs. You know what I'm talking about, Steve? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I mean, you know, can I get an amen out there today? Just, just Oh, I think I could preach right now. And, and some of those songs and some of those words, it just, it just kind of gets inside of you. You, you just you resonate on those, and, and it brings hope, and it fills your heart back up. Well, let's dial, the, let's dial it back a little bit. Let's go back a number of years when the old church choir was singing. Listen to these words. <laughs> 